And foremost, I like to find that peace. That's when I write a, a lot better, just having that peace and hearing myself think. You know what I mean? And just, uh, really, it's a vibe, man. I can't really describe it other than the peace part. I wake up, go to my, you know what I'm saying, do my work. And this is like, the, if I find that peace and I get in that zone, I just go. I don't really like to count bars because I'm like limiting myself when I do write. I just like to write. I can dissect the, 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 the bars, you know what I mean? So, and, uh, oh, another thing I like to do, I like to listen to some hot shit, whether it's pop shit, however I'm feeling at the time before I actually write, just to get me, you know what I'm saying, worked up and just go, you know what I mean? What's the biggest problem you had to overcome? I had insomnia, man, when I was like 15, bro. And uh, the thing with that is a lot of people thought I got laced. So it was crazy because he showed me who my real homies was. Shout out to my real niggas. And uh, it just showed me how to like, uh, how, how much a rumor can grow. I had like three, four, like about four, five hours out of sleep out of a whole week. It was like a lot of shit I was thinking about, I was going through at the time. And, um, I just, I, I just, it just made me stronger, a lot more wiser, and along with listening to myself think, you know what I mean? And paying attention, just paying attention in. But I, I'm thankful because after that happened, it, 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 it showed me like who my real niggas is, period. You know what I mean? And then the he say, she say shit, it was funny. Even when I heard it, I bust out laughing. Cause like when I got back all the way together, the, when I came back around, I even peeped the motherfuckers who would try to play me out like, oh, this motherfucker ain't got it all. You feel me? But I even laughed with him. And I, I even made so much of entertainment out the shit that I'm going to act like that. If you think I'm fucked up, I'm going to play you out. You know what I'm saying? Cause just because just motherfuckers so simple-minded. Instead of actually opening your motherfucking mouth and having the boss to ask me, you good or what happened? You ain't want to know for me. You are, you assume, you know what I mean? So that was one thing, and then after that, bro, another thing is just um, not knowing who to fuck with, period. I don't care if I grew up with you, who, you know, not knowing who to fuck with, because some people, they, they live in a, the um, ain't got nothing to lose type of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? I cherish things, you know what I mean? So that's just, them, that part coming, uh, overcoming that, that's, that's why I, that's what I got out of it, you know what I mean? So what do you go by? Just chops still? It's just, just chops. Just chops. It's been chops. My grandma called me chops. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got Yo, that name. Up. I got that name from my dog Squeak. Shout out to Hey Loud, Squeak, Samuel, y'all know him. Yeah. But uh we was hooping one day. My nigga. I was I was new to the neighborhood and he was like, throw the ball. And they all thought he said chops, blah blah blah. So we all laughed about it. We went about five, six years old. And then the whole hood started calling me that. Right. And then it's just like, I mean, it was to a point where my daddy friends and them, they calling me Chops. I didn't even know they knew the nickname, you know what I mean? And then, I, you know, I was like 14, 15 at the time. I'm like, it stands for can't hate on player shit. It was just some job young shit I thought was cold. Shit. You know what I mean? But, yeah, that's where the name came.